Just doing a quick video on gear pulling. Um, this is a basic gear puller. If you look, it's into th it's three pieces. It's this piece, these, and the two bolts that you're going to bolt into whatever you're extracting. Um, simple to put together. Uh, sometimes you have to come up with your own bolts and stuff like that because they'll come in kits like this. This is another type of gear puller. You could use this one too. This one works. And it'll come with all the bolts and the center shaft simple to put together you just take two bolts or three or four whatever you're pulling off that this gear puller will reach with a shaft that you have to pull off and you put the center bolt after you bolt in the bolts to whatever you're bolting to just like this and take the center bolt and put it right center of the shaft if it fits in between there in this case it does so you'll just tighten this with the wrench, whatever you have, box end wrench or a uh, ratchet or a pneumatic tool, whatever you use. And sometimes it's good to take your time. You might snap these bolts off if you go too fast. Uh, if they're small like these ones, I had to make these ones. And if it's hard to come off, you just help work it off by tapping the back here with a mallet, rubber mallet preferably, or some type of wood. And just give it a tap while you're tightening down this and as it, it's extracting it off. Um, if you have to, you might have to use heat. Try not to burn your bearings out or whatever if you're using heat to try and extract it. But in most cases it just comes off real nice. Use some spray. I use like a lubricant spray on everything just so everything turns nice. And yeah, if you take your time and work it off, comes off nice and easy. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.